Saturday, January 20th, 4.36 p.m. New York time. Good afternoon. If you're a Patreon member, you get these videos real time, same day. If you'd like to, if you're not a Patreon member, and like to get access to these videos the same day, in the video description below is the link to the Patreon page. This video is going to cover yields and currencies. Certainly there's a correlation. In the United States, the Federal Reserve, aka the Central Bank, has a meeting this month, Wednesday, January 31st, in the afternoon, P2 p.m. They will vote to either leave interest rates alone or changed. Correlation is often when the interest rates are raised, that strengthens the U.S. dollar. And inverse, lowering interest rates often weakens the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar is also a safe haven currency, along with the Japanese yen and Swiss franc. So there are several correlations that give U.S. dollar strength. I'll go over charts momentarily, but here, on one of the data exchanges, financial exchanges, the CME group, they have financial instruments you could trade for speculators on the currents, on the uh, yields. So there's a countdown when the next meeting is, but I already showed you that. And here it shows what the traders are expecting. They're expecting a rate cut this month. Again, last year, consistently, they said the same thing and they were wrong. Last year, I've already started trading bearish the yields. Even if interest rates left unchanged, bear call spreads, you can still win. Looking here at a five-year chart in each candle's a week. We're looking at the 30-year yield market cycle. Mm -hmm. Last year was the high. Distribution marked down. So many times I kept on sharing with my Patreon members again. Trading opportunities, swing trade opportunities, trade bearish, the yields. There's plenty of financial instruments in different exchanges to do that. So for the year, we're trending up on the 30 year. Yep, doing a natural retracement, opportunities to reload, trade bearish. That's the 30 year. The 10 year, same thing. This year, trending up. Retracement, the big sell off last year. And the five year, same thing. Look at that. Trending up. And the two year, an acceleration. So right off the bat, Get the 30 year again. Past several years, interest rates have been raising because the yields have been raising. Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates. Last year, that was the distribution and then the markdown. Serality with the 10 year. Five year and the two year. But again, the shorter duration of the two year, look for the current week inside candle. Yep. I've been making lower highs. So this, the shorter yields duration, much more bearish. The other ones would maybe catch up. Let's go look at the mighty US dollar. Again, 10 years, sorry, five years of data here in each candle of the week, US dollar index. Two years ago here, 2022 is a high, the US dollar distribution marked down. And here it's a lot of chop. You have a low here last year, high here last year. We are inside the range of last year and we're in a retracement up. Dollar's going higher, just like you saw the yields, the higher duration yields, 30 to 10 to five, yeah.
So this is, again, a lot of whipsaw last year in the dollar. Not real clear of a defining trend because these swing points are broken. Again, a lot of this had to do also with the safe haven of the U.S. dollar. They kept it strong. So a huge whipsaw in this area. Let's go into the currencies inside the U.S. dollar. The major currencies in the U.S. dollar. Top three major currencies, the euro, then the yen, then the pound. So each of these currencies here I'm showing you are with the dollar, inverse. This is the euro, five years. Again, when this trends up, stronger euro, weaker dollar. Big opposite, but we just saw the dollar. So again, last year, huge whipsaw here. And for the current year, we're still inside the range, high and low of last year, and the euro trending down. And this week, it actually made a new low for the year. So again, distribution, markdown. Accumulation looks like here. Again, this swing high, this swing low, be very important. When those get retested, what happens? As well as this swing high here, too. Japanese yen. When it declines, stronger for US dollar. Yeah. So here's a high last year. Here's a low last year. Japanese yen declining. Strong sell off already this year. British pound, pound sterling. Yeah, for the past five years. Distribution, markdown, some accumulation. Well, it was accumulation. And that's good. This swing low never took that out. So now, this swing high, which is the high of last year, this is a consolidation phase. We will tell over time if it's going to be distribution or accumulation. Good chance it could be a accumulation for another markup. Australian dollar, yep. We have massive distribution for the past several years, marked down. Again, another thing, U.S. dollar, commodities are pricing U.S. dollar, stronger dollar, typically weaker commodities. Australia is one of the nations heavily leveraged on commodities, metals, and energy. So again, stronger dollar, weaker Australian dollar, as you're seeing here. Mm -hmm. New low for the year. That's same with New Zealand dollar, same with Canadian dollar. Canadian dollar, yep, same thing, just like the Australian dollar. It's a heavily commodity-based country, producing that. Swiss franc, one of the safe haven currencies. Right, last year, last month of last year was the high, and then a distribution's low. So we already made a new low for the year. Mexican peso, look at that. For the past several years, accumulation, Huge accumulation, accumulation markup. Distribution up here. Still inside the range of last year. Here's the low of last year. Here's the high of last year. And this week here, zoom in some more. Huge whipsaw effect this year. Look at that. A lower, low, lower, lower, high. Yep. Testing this area. So this is like oscillation. And Tom would tell if it's going to be distribution or accumulation. But this high was distribution, marked down. Retracement. So watch this closely. If we're going to break below the swing low, break above here. This could simply be a nice consolidation, a breakout for a new trend higher. In these currencies, you could trade them as stock ETFs. You could trade them at futures markets, forex markets, and options. Yep. Nothing wrong with accumulating a few stock ETFs of Mexican peso because you might see the run up higher. And Chinese yuan. There was all distribution here last year and a markdown. Currently for the year, trending up. Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin. A distribution, distribution, a lot of markdown. And accumulation here, markup. That was the high of the year, rejection. Now new low for the year. 
Yep. So this was a swing high here. Right here. We tested it and rejected it. Dumped. Now let's look at the major currencies against each other. So we'll look at the euro versus the other currencies, not just the dollar. The euro against the other major currencies using the Forex peers. We already did euro, US dollar here. Let's go euro, yen, again. Euro in the European continent and yen in the Asia Pacific. And this trends up, it's stronger euro, weaker yen. Nice trend up, super strong euro against the yen. High of last year, low of last year. New high for the year. Again, new high for the year for the euro against the yen. Euro, pound, two European currencies. High of last year, low of last year. And it's trending down. Weaker euro against the pound. New low for the year here, too. Canadian dollar. Sorry, euro and Canadian dollar. High of last year, low of last year. There we are. Tight consolidation so far. Euro, Swiss franc. Swiss franc being one of the safe haven currencies. So you can see the euro has been trending down against the Swiss franc. Last year was the all-time low for the five years here. And for this year, we made a new high here. Big reversal. And the euro, Australia, dollar. High of last year, low of last year. This year is trending up. Accumulation. Accumulation, accumulation, retracement, maybe another breakout to go higher for the euro against the Australian dollar. On to the next Forex pair, the yen, the yen against the major currencies. We already did the US dollar yen, we already did the euro yen, let's do the pound yen. Remember, the correlation of pound is a lot correlated with the Gold, so typically a weaker pound, weaker gold as well, too. There's the pound, euro, I'm sorry, the pound, yen. Stronger pound, weaker yen. So already made a new high. Pound made a new high against the yen for the past five years. Here's the low of last year. Canadian dollar, yen. High of last year, and this year is already trending up. Strong Canadian dollar against the yen. And a lot of highs here had to dump. Again, this may be coming into distribution over time or two. Because this was a nice rejection of going lower. Nope, buyers won't let it go lower. They buy and bought and stepped it. Nice. Swiss franc, Japanese yen, both safe haven currencies. Swiss franc is stronger. Nice trend up. New high for the year. For the past five years, new high. Swiss franc against the Japanese yen. Australian dollar, Japanese yen. Here's the high of 2022. Here's the high of 2023. Here's the low of last year. So the Australian dollar, Japanese yen, tight consolidation inside the range of last year and the prior year. And this again, swing high. We'll see if this is going to be turning out as distribution or is it going to be a markup? And we finish this off by looking at the last major pairs, the pound versus the other ones. We already did the pound dollar, pound yen, euro pound. Start off with the pound, get a dollar. High of last year, low of last year. Look, it's trending up. Still inside the range of last year, but it's trending up. Higher lows. Pound Swiss franc. Here's a high of that prior 2022, low 2022, 2023 here. Tight consolidation trending down. Again, pound trending down is strength for the Swiss franc. Well, they already reversed this year. First week was inside candle, 
since the higher, high, higher lows, British pound has been turning around. And the British pound, Australian dollar, still inside the range of last year, currently is trending up. There's the high of 2020. So hands down, the US dollar is doing very well against many currencies. And we still have the yields doing minor retracements. Thank you as always for spending just a little bit of your time with me. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.